And we're back. It's your man, Lavernius Coles, here with his buddy, Wayne Quebec. And we here doing the bye week, of course, to talk about uh, great green and white. How was your weekend, buddy? Weekend was good. Uh, no stress this weekend. Uh, wasn't so much time to play at college. But excited. Kind of got a chance to look back and uh, where we're at um, and where we're going to be, hopefully, by the end of the year. But um, I have all my grades. I went through it. But uh, I'm going to let you do um, the offense first because I'm going to contradict probably everything you say. Oh. So you start with the offense and be gentle on how they've played so far uh, the first nine games. Well, I think the offense has done pretty good. And I think for me at this point, it's just, just looking at, you know, them trying to be more consistent uh, and figure out ways to make make plays. But I haven't been happy with the offense. I mean, yeah. they, they've done okay. Um, I think they could play better to give our defense some help uh, to get guys going in the right direction. But, again, we, 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 we still need to have some consistency to be able to keep up with the fire, those, those big fire power teams we got coming up uh, here in the future. So I'll let you get back to it, and then I'll get back to talking about what the rest of our schedule looked like and right. where I think we're going to end up at in this thing. Yeah, uh, gave off into B minus. You didn't give your grade, but that's all right. I know it's going to be worse. Listen, um, they had their struggles, obviously, but uh, you got to bump up the grade based on the record and the fact that how they're bringing guys like Garrett Wilson and Brees Hall came up, you know, was doing and Michael Carter in his second year. I know struggles with Zach, but uh, even just seeing what he did in the last game in response to the negativity from the week before, um, you know, I think they're doing a good enough job. We know they're not going to score 30, 40 points a game, but uh, they were 3-40 and 40 when they're down double-digit points in previous years, and they got three wins down 10 points. So you got to say the offense had a lot to do with that. No, a defense. A defense is making plays. They're getting turnovers. They're getting us the ball back at opportune times. They're able to flip the momentum. A lot of people don't look at that stuff. You have to look at – how a defense can change the game. And that's that's what I look for. I know I put a lot of pressure on defense, but our offense has been, I mean, suspect. I mean, come on, man. You you don't go into the game like, oh man, we're finna go in here. We're gonna we're gonna go score for score. Nah. My my whole thing is every time 17 points. If our defense can hold them to 17 points, we got a chance. So that's all defense. I ain't gotta do it our offense. Listen, you say this right. You just said it. When the defense gets the ball back for the offense, the offense still has to do something to win because they're down. So man, it goes they hand got, in hand. Man, you be we be depending on Greg the leg every time. We be holding our breath, but we all we trying to do is get a field goal. Anybody who's watched this any week, and if they watch it a lot, but we get the special teams and Greg the leg and and all that stuff. Let's let's get into that now before we get into the. Uh, the big one, our defense, can't wait to talk about that. But uh, special teams, I gave them a C plus, just based on missing field goals on opportune times um, and some shank punts. Uh, but the grade is going to improve, and the reason I believe that is I think Barrios is going to have a couple big returns. Uh, he does that every year, uh, and I expect him to do it again. So I could certainly be it's great a lot higher than the year because I think Barrios is going to have a lot to do with that. Mm, not me. For me, I'm giving a D minus. Just it's just not they're not they're not doing enough for me. The, the, right now we're being carried by defense, and I'm a, I'm gonna reiterate that every time. I mean these guys they're like even I mean we we got somebody special on every level defensively. So I'm not giving nobody no credit until they show up, and I'm like you know what we could depend on y'all this week to make a play. And nobody's going out. When, when the offense has the ball, we holding our breath. Defense on the field, we know they're giving three and outs. They're getting sacks. They're getting interceptions. they they creating energy for this football team. So, no. I mean, because we don't have to change sauce name to gravy. Because, I mean, every time I'm telling you, the boy out there making plays out the play, out the play. Yeah. And I like I like gravy on all my good stuff. Thanksgiving turkey. I like gravy, gravy on my, my grits, my biscuits, everything. So we got to get, I mean, he, no sauce going with everything, but that sauce that he got there, it's going to be gravy soon. I'm telling you. I'm telling yeah. you. If you look at what he's done to the top receivers and what he's gone to every week, this is, um, if, if you're thinking about Jets, this is Re Revis kind of play, you know what I mean? Uh, doesn't play like a rookie, um, you know, does everything he needs to. He's always in the right spot, you know got good hands, can tackle. I mean, he's the whole package, and, and he's just a small part of it. Uh, you know, if you look up front, the pressure they're getting on the team, 
with Quinn in the front seven, you know, I think my grade is a uh, high. My grade is an A minus just based on some games, obviously giving up points. It's not perfect, but it's as perfect as you can get. And with a team like this, they give you a chance every week to win. If they got, they, they, every they, week. Got a, they got an A though for me because the times they gave up points, it wasn't their fault. I mean, our offense was putting them in bad positions, going three and out. Eventually, if you're on the field the whole game, somebody's going to break loose and get free or something. I mean, right. you can't expect these guys to, to carry the load the whole time. So, again, this, I mean, they, they have, but, I mean, they, they've held up their end of the bargain up front at linebacker and in the secondary. So, I, talking about the defense to me is just, it's just, it's just a given. We just got to get everybody else to step up to the plate like our defense has stepped up. Yeah, they're – Awesome, phenomenal. They're elite. They're, they're elite. They're, 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 they're one of the best defenses we've probably had around in a long time in the green and white. Yeah. But we're gonna talk about the rest of the schedule, though, buddy. I know that. This is where this is where things get a little funky for me. So I went and looked at um, uh, the Dolphin schedule. Looked really good yesterday. All right. I looked at the Bills. The rest of their schedule, who who lost a nail by the probably game of the year type game yesterday. And right now, I think we're in second place. Dolphins are at seven and three. We're at six and three. The Bills are at six and three. And New England, I think, is at five and four, which th- yeah. they aren't out of it, but nobody's really looking at them right now, which is kind of a, a yeah, yeah. bad thing, just like a dark horse over there. So when I looked at our records right now, we're at the Patriots. We're h- home against the Bears. We're at Minnesota. Right. Then we're at the Bills. Then we play the Lions, which is playing really good. good right now for them to be a losing team. Then you got the Jaguars. Okay, we we'll, we'll one. Then you got to go to Seattle, who's playing really well. Then you got to go to the Dolphins. Tough. How many of those games you think they're going to win? Uh, how many? How many do we need to win to get where we want to be with playoffs and stuff like that? Based on our record at six and three, you need four. You need four. You need four out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So go five hundred, and the rest of the way, you think we make the playoffs? I mean, that's the only chance you got. Usually, you win ten, you in. Now they've had some situations before where guys have won ten and didn't make it. Let's but, let's see. We're going to New England next week. Yep, one o'clock. Winnable game. Okay, I'm gonna put Wayne says win. It's a winnable game. Okay, I'm, I'm listening. Listen, I mean, they had they had them. Um, they could have beat them. You know, obviously that big pass in the field, uh, rough in the pass or before the half mm-hmm. would change exactly. a lot of things. We were at the game, mm-hmm. but uh, I just think we're undefeated on the road still, right? Oh, man, I, man, I don't know. I'm just telling you, offense ain't been bad. Dude, they're road warriors, man. Mm-hmm. I've, been, I've been on teams like that. You were joking that I was wearing my uh, 1998 – AC Championship hat. This yeah. is a possibility, man. They they got game the game on Miami and Buffalo. Okay, okay. Well, well let's 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 go down the list. Okay, so you say they're gonna beat the Patriots. They got yeah. the Bears, who are playing really good right now. What do you put them out on that game? Uh, listen, their, their, I'm de- their defense is okay. Justin Fields is Justin playing really Resnick. well. Justin mm-hmm. Fields is is uh, I want to thank him <laughs> for playing him in fantasy. He ran for. <laughs> 150, 160, 170 yards. Two weeks in a row. Yeah. Um, phenomenal. Um, if the, you can contain him, though, that's his all the offense. Um, you know, I don't think it's much about their, their running backs and stuff. It's just containing him. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it's the defense. But uh it's a one more game. Okay, okay. I saw waiting on. All right. You think they can win that? Against the Bears? Yeah, yeah. Possibility. Okay. That's two. All right. All right. Uh then you have the Vikings. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was at in Minnesota. Uh, I was at um went out to eat and I see I'm like oh the uh, Vikings are driving, um and then I see uh, Jefferson make a catch where mm-hmm. catch, best catch I ever seen top three um mm-hmm. and just based on the situation and I saw they got stuffed with the one and I you know I said hey, man, they're so close <laughs> and then a couple minutes later somebody texts me oh the Viking Vikings are uh, Jets best friend. I realized they won. I was like, holy. I was like, they're pretty good. So <clears throat> I'm not conceding a win, but the, that's one of the top two teams they have to play the rest of the so year. So I can put I can put an L right there. You could put a question mark <laughs> <laughs> based based on 
if anybody's injured or you know this and that, listen, like I said, we're we could be in every game, but they have offense and a defense. So another game. I, I, are you gonna ask them a question, buddy? Because I'm gonna give you mine. I'm just waiting on you to give me yours. I can't concede a win, but that's the tough one. That that in the Bills, that's that's the tough one. So so you want me to put question marks? You don't. You're not gonna say whether they're gonna win or they're gonna lose. So you gonna you gonna say win or lose? Just pick. Put. A draw. Very optimistic. They're very optimistic. Jesus, man. All right. I'm going to put just a little line there. And I'm going to put just, just like, there you go. You got that on the bills. All right, so what about the Lions? What do you think about Lions? I'm, I'm, I gave the same thing for the Vikings because we at the bills and we at the Vikings two weeks in a row. Yeah. But we got the Lions now? Yeah, we at the Lions. All right. Listen, they're, they're putting up 35 points a game, but they're giving up 35 points a game. Oh, uh, you're looking at them. Who's the quarterback? Goff? Yeah, I think I'm the quarterback when you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. Listen, like I said, it's they're not gonna have to score 35 points. Uh, but their defense, like you said, is suspect. I mean, we should be able to take advantage of that. So um, is that a win? Is that a win? I think it's a win. All right, W, W. Then they got the Jaguars who's playing really good, but finding ways to lose. They they remind me a lot of uh, some of our games, but they 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 have a solid young team, yeah. but they're finding ways to lose football games. So what what do you think? You think that you think they'll beat the Jags? I think they'll beat the Jags. I mean, I got them as a W, but I want to hear what you're gonna say. <laughs> I think um, it's gonna be a James Robinson revenge game. I know how big fan you were them bringing in. Listen, I said it was a good move when they brought him in. He had a score. Oh, um, All right, I put a nah. W there. I think they could win that game. It's just, I mean, obviously you can't say, oh, it's the Jaguars of old, this and that, but they just, it's a good, uh, it's a good matchup for the Jets. Okay. All right. So, and then you have at Seattle and at the Dolphins, the last two. All right. At Seattle, it's tough. It's a tough place to play <laughs> with the 12th man. Was that, is that, another, is that another little, little slashy for you? No, no. I think they go in out there. I do think they go in hmm, out okay. there. Okay. I'm W. Yeah, I mean, I don't. They're not playing great. I mean, they got good coaching. You know, Seattle ain't good. playing great. Who them? Seattle's playing amazing right now. Yeah, I just don't think. Okay, okay. I, th- I think we match up well. I, I think they could, you know, Russell up Geno Smith. I know he's playing out of his mind right now. Mm-hmm. But, uh, you don't think that's a revenge game from him against the Jets? But hey, you never know. Probably. Hey, listen, I announced him at uh, Radio City when um. We had the I don't know first pick in the second round, and I'm back there. I got to go out there. I'm nervous, and uh, they give the ticket to me to uh, announce the pick. And Roger Goodell is like, "Good luck." And I was like, "Man, <laughs> I was like, with the third pick, New York Jet." He's like, "Going to select the uh, Geno Smith," and it was so loud, but it was so many boos and so many cheers, uh, <laughs> and it didn't work out. He, I got to give it to him. He's doing great, but um, again, I just think the situation on the road. We're going to play that much better, um, just kind of mm. us against the world kind of thing. And that's how it was for our years, our good teams. You got to win on the road. So okay. definitely a winnable game, not easy, mm. like Jacksonville and Detroit. But I think we can go out there and win. Okay. Well, what about at the Dolphins? Tough, tough place to play. But <laughs> you said it. When it's summer, they're in the shade. It's like 85. And, and, and you're in the sun. And it's like 120 degrees. So that's a little advantage. But – I don't know where we'll both be at that point, and I think it's going to be – that game's going to decide where do, the AFC is. Do, do, do you think we can win? That's the question. We beat them already, don't we? I don't know. I mean, you, you, I'm, this is this is the back end of the season. They played great yesterday. Yeah. I don't – yeah. Um, and, and, is, and they done picked up Chubb from Denver. So now they got a pass rush. It's, yeah. it's a different ball club you're dealing with now. They all in. Yeah. I just think based on, you know – how how they're how strong they're getting as the season's going so far mm-hmm. that they can win there too. They beat them. Okay, okay, okay. Them. W. So I'm 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 gonna give you that record. According to you, they six and three. Win at the Patriots. Win at the Bears. A shrug your shoulders at the Vikings. A shrug your shoulders at the Bills. A win at the Lions. A win at the Jags. A win at Seattle, and a win against the Dolphins. So that puts us at 12 and three with two question marks. Um, so that you, that's what you're going with. I'm going to write sticking, that down. I'm sticking with it. I see 
Okay. Games okay. that are winnable, games I think they could win. But the two question marks, the tough up up in Buffalo's rough. Minnesota, the way they're playing. Um, man, I just they have to play first. <laughs> Listen, you got a lot of heat for you saying that the only way we'll beat the Bills is if the bus don't show up. We got a lot of heat about that. That's uh, all good. I, I, I'm gonna have to eat it again because we, we gotta go up though. Yeah. And this is this is what's happening. So I'm gonna give you my picks. Patriots coming off by week. I think we're prepared. The guys feel some type of way about that. I'm with you on that one. Versus the Bears at home, we don't play too good at home. Right. We we haven't we have we we're road warriors. Remember? Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna give us a W that too. Just 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 for giggles. All right. Vikings L. Buffalo two L's. All right. Lions. We play Lions at home. Hmm. That'll be two losses. I just give them a loss just to make it like tough on us. It's an L against the Lions. Play the Jags. Get a win. Seattle. It's a long trip. Legs ain't gonna be up under you. They playing good. L. Dolphins in Miami. In December, after breathing that cold air and going to that heat. L. I got us finishing nine. Well, what, what? I'm wrong. Nine and eight. Just saying, you're a jet. You're supposed to be more positive. So, yeah. <laughs> I knew you were gonna do this. I knew you were gonna do this. I just, I just, I can't find it in my in my body to say, you know, a loss. I just can't do it. Like, I know I'm supposed to be like realistic here, and you know, mm-hmm. I know how we go back and forth. I can't concede a game. Talking about, it. I'll never be able to do that. You know, listen, going in the season, I wasn't like we're gonna go seventeen zero, but I'm basing this on what we've done in a half. That leads me to believe that we can do it versus any okay. other team. But like I said, we have to play perfect. I believe the defense is gonna have us in every game. I truly do, and I think you do too. Um, it just, I know you don't, you know, have confidence in, in the offense as much, but they're they're coming along. I just believe that they're just turning the page. And um, it's like I said, not the same old Jets. Yeah. I mean, no, look, trust me. I never said this the same old Jets. I just think this path we have to travel is tough with what we're leaving out there offensively. Yeah. We have we have to play better. Yeah. Again, we watched Buffalo yesterday give the game away. That game was there. They, they, yeah. they had a fourth and 22. The guy caught a one-handed pass. Game would have been over. He don't make that play. That's so that's supposed to be a win against us. He turned the ball over at critical times and had fumbles. When you go into Buffalo, yeah, they, they got it on their mind. They're six and three, yeah, and they got the easiest path to travel. I thought they'd be nine and oh, eight and one at this point, based on those first couple weeks. And they haven't they haven't lost games like that where you just like, oh, they got smacked, everything is down to the wire with them. So they are a complete football team, it's just. They got to get it together. I mean, Josh Allen making some mistakes late in the game. They get it turned around with the easiest path. This schedule we got, man. Yeah. Dolphins, Seattle, Bills, and Vikings. That's four four tough tough games. That that those ain't no where we can we can show up and get off the bus and be okay. We got to show up and play play those four games solidly for us to have a chance to win offensively. Like I said, defensively we'll be fine. We can't go three and out several times in a row and expect our defense yeah. to hold up every time offense. We so need to go two and two. If we can yeah. split that and go two and two, whatever the combination is, that's the rough part. I think that puts us in a good situation. But but you can't you can't feel good about it because we had a winnable game against the Patriots and we find a way to screw that up. Yeah. You got the, the Bears coming. That's a winnable game. Are we going to find a way to screw that up? So I kind of look at it from – from both sides. I mean, we played well against solid teams, but when we play teams that we outman and we're better than, we found a way to lose. So you have to kind of balance it out with those tough teams and then the teams we're supposed to beat, we find a way to lose to them. And these teams that we have are playing good. They're not getting blown out right now. So I have a huge concern for the rest of our schedule. I'm not saying it can't be done. I mean, in my heart, I want them to win, but realistically, I'm just looking at what I've seen and what, they, what they, their, their resume. I'm just sitting here looking at them talk about Dak Prescott. His brother's upset because they put his last his four last four games up there, and then he upset because the numbers are the numbers. 
The numbers you are what they say you are. The numbers yeah. don't lie. Yeah. <laughs> it just is what numbers out of numbers. You, nobody's making them up. They tell they tell the story. Your record is your record. We're six and three right now. All right, hopefully we can get to that. If we can get the 10 wins. Yeah. We got a shot to make the playoffs. Go, go, go into coaching. Go into the coaching where yeah. I know we talked, you know, I text this week. Um, I, I posted this week. The best thing that's happened to the Jets in a long time is Woody and Christopher pairing up Joe Douglas with Coach Salah. Mm -hmm. They've done a phenomenal job. I talked about the last two drafts. This draft is off the charts. I mean, Sauce and Garrett Wilson and Brees, Jermaine Johnson got his first sack, and the rest of the guys. And then, you know, last year, with, I mean, you know, we were talking about Elijah, but Zach and, you know, Greer Carter and Michael, the two Michael Carters. And the you know the free agency guys, I mean, I I give it a. It's just unbelievable, unbelievable where they are. Listen, I grew up here, mm -hmm. going to Jets games and Giant games, and I, I know you only hear news down there when it's on the uh, the bigger national news. I hear everything. I've been going to these games since I was little. Since you probably don't even know, they played at Shea Stadium, where the Mets played. I've this heard that. I've heard all different. the sob stories. Yeah, this this is the best situation since. You know, Parcells and Tannenbaum being there and, and turning around so quickly. So I give them an A. Christopher and Woody, you know, you know how I feel about them. You know, they're great to my family. They're great for their, the team. So uh, I'm just excited for them. They deserve, you know, the, the fans in them and everybody deserves a championship. Well, uh, I'm glad you gave them right? an A. Right now, I'm giving, I'm giving them a B minus. Yeah. Until 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 they hit the AFC championship like you guys did or something like that, yeah. I can't give them a better grade than that. I mean, I want them. I, I get it. They're, they're making some solid decisions, but I want the results. You all you all what the records say you are. Yeah. Until they get into an AFC championship and win a division like you guys did, no B. I'm B. basing it on, like I said, I felt for the last. You know, oh my like, gosh, y'all, I feel so sorry. He's, your heart is so listen, mad. listen, man. Oh, this, is this is different. Yeah. I'm not saying we're going to go undefeated. It's just <laughs> when it comes down to it with a good defense and an offense, you know, that, that can get the job done. You know, this is the – you talk about the 85 Bears. This is – you up a Giant fan too. This is the Lawrence Taylor, the Harry Carson, and that pressure up front, but with a secondary that's off, off the charts and, you know, with Reed and Sauce on the outside. When they make the AFC Championship, we'll, we'll give them a box of chocolates. We'll send them a bottle of Louis 13. 10 in. <laughs> they're going to be my B minus guys. I'm just, that's just me. All right. Listen, last thing is I was thinking about what was the first thing I would say? I wanted to save it for the end. This has been fun, man. I know we got a second half of the season, but doing this with you uh, is awesome. And, and so people know this is how we are. This is how we <laughs> talk when we're anywhere. Uh, people think it's funny that we say we love each other, um, but that's how we are. We, you know, we just be sitting there like, Love you, man. That's just how we are. We're brothers. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's been fun. And, and, you know, what they say is it's funny that we argue and as we smile. We're not, <laughs> we're not trying to talk over each other and who could yell the loudest and whatnot. So, I mean, I love it, man. I'm glad we're doing this. Hopefully, hopefully the fans like it. I'm, I'm with you, man. But, hey, I am who I am. I still love you, but they're going to get B minus and C's until they get a better record than you had when you was playing. So I'm glad it's fun for me also, brother. I mean, we we do this with or without sitting here doing this. So yeah. it's great. Enjoy the rest of your day, man. I love you, brother. And I'll see you soon. Love you, man.